Hey y'all, I'm back with a scrapbook and project life process video for the Hip Kit Club using the September 2016 kits. And this is going to be a layout, the first project. And I'm starting with a white background and I saw um, somebody not too long ago, it may have been on Pinterest or possibly even um, Instagram, where somebody did kind of like a little corner cluster and I really loved the way that that turned out. And um, instead of making like the triangle go take up half of the page or diagonally, I did it to where it was just there in the corner. So um, I decided to just do a very simple layout and I didn't have much of a plan for this one. I'm using quite a bit of the gather collection and um, I'm just kind of going with the flow. So I uh, layered up a couple of uh, papers underneath my photo and then now I kind of got this idea that I want to anchor my title or anchor other elements on the right side of the page but I need something to do that with and so I decided to choose a couple of pa pieces of paper from that same gather collection and just cut them up and see kind of see where the layout takes me and I really love the way that this turned out it's probably one of my favorites with this kit so Right now I'm looking at the Gather Ephemera and I'm really loving um, the way that uh, it's turning out and kind of how I'm just kind of offsetting stuff and not really paying a whole lot of attention to um, perfect placement and stuff like that and I'm really enjoying doing that lately. And so you'll see that I just kind of clustered three things together and then I am going to add another, a few other elements. So this little ballerina has nothing to do with the page. but. I just thought that was kind of different and super cute on that um, right side of the page and it almost like gave it a little bit of a pop. And it's about my daughter who's a girl and I just think that ballerina stuff is cute anyway. And so I went ahead and just placed that there and I liked that. I liked that boldness that it gave the layout. Here I'm gonna use a chipboard sticker that says loved obviously and it's uh, from the chipboard sticker sheet from the gather collection I'm also using one that says always so I kind of like that how the title I didn't mean to do this but I kind of like how it says like loved and then from the heart always and so I ended up naming it like titling it in my mind loved but I thought that um, that kind of all flowed very well and then right now I'm just kind of using these little bitty uh, alphas from that same collection um, to spell out her name and then um, if I didn't already mention this I put a flower from the gather collection right behind the photo the photo cluster and I thought about using um, that which looks okay on camera but I actually decided against it I thought it was maybe a little bit too much over there but I did pull this standout ribbon piece and I really loved the way that turned out and I'm sorry that that abruptly ended um, I got a phone call in the middle of it, and then I just ended up finishing it, so I only added like one or two things more, and it, one of them was the mist, so I actually will have final photos for you guys to see. I didn't do too much more than what you saw. So here's a 9 by 12 spread, and something a little bit different that I probably should mention is that for my last spread, I did week 8 continued, and this one is week 38, so no, I have not gotten 30 weeks done. Um, in the time that you last saw a layout for me or a spread, but I decided actually because these kits go perfectly with the time of year and because like soon we're going to be getting, because it's fall and all that kind of stuff or it's about to be fall, I just feel like um, I need to probably scrap photos that are more current and I just, that was super exciting to me that I was going to be able to use these products for like current pictures and then I'll use my stash stuff for like to get caught up on the other things um, because these kits are going to be going with the themes of like the seasons and stuff and especially when it gets closer to Christmas I'm sure we'll get some pretty awesome um, Christmas themed things and so while these kits aren't super themey they still are perfect with the seasons and I that's what I love about these kits and so um, I that's what the reason why I'm doing uh, what I'm doing, which is starting from last week and the next week that you'll see will probably be week 39 or week 38 continued actually. Okay, so this is just the front side and I'm using that September. Most of these cards are exclusive to the Hip Kit Club with the exception of a few of um, papers that I cut up to size um, to 3x4 and 4x6. I cut those from the Gather Collection. And you'll see there on the right that there's a picture of me and my daughter after we got our hair cut. And then it's on photo paper. And I used the app that 
Um, a lot of people are talking about witches. Oh, I think it's called collect and you can, um, basically like use it to put your photos on there and then it keeps track of them. But it also, you can, it kind of looks like a little bit of a Polaroid because then you can go ahead and do your journaling too. And I am in love with that app. So I'm going to start using that. I'm um, not for every picture, but because I still want to, um, add my own touch and stuff like that. But for some of the pictures, I like the look of it. So, um, I'm using the alphas that I used are from the Indigo Hills or Pink Fresh Studio collection. And then um, I also used some thickers that were black foam. And then I use a few, several pieces from the Carpe Diem Posh Simple Stories line. And then the word cute, it comes from down at the bottom. That comes from the chipboard sticker sheet from the Gather collection. And a few other, the few other chipboard elements that I used also come from that same collection. Um, and that is pretty much it. I love the way this turned out as well. And I pretty much finished it up with just a couple, um, additional little elements. And I think I add that a lot that I added. Oh yeah, I do add, um, these gold, uh, fray stickers there. And then I change out my tiny attacher and just staple that chipboard piece there in the middle where it says create beautiful memories. And then that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this process and let me know if you have any questions. There's the final layout and the close-ups of that. And you can see that I just added like a couple little extra elements like that shine piece. And then uh, for this layout, uh, everything that you guys saw me do during the process is there. Have a great week.